you a, what'd you tell them at halftime? It looked like a different uh, squad well, here. I mean, we just challenged them. I thought we played really played good defense the first probably 10 minutes of that game, and, and then the second 10 of the first half was bad, so we really challenged them on the defensive end, and I thought we were great. And I think they were at .4 through the first 12 or 14 minutes, which is unbelievable. Didn't give them a three. Um, I just played with great spirit and were opportunistic and exactly, you know, how we envision them playing when they're at their best. So. I know you're not a big numbers guy, but 700 is a pretty uh, large number. Crazy. It's crazy. I had no idea the other night. I really, literally had no idea when then people started talking about it. Uh, yeah, it's nuts. I mean, I I remember the first one against Montana. I was so scared. I mean, going into that game, didn't know if I'd make it through the year. And let alone thought about what the normal tenure for D1 guys is about three years. So I was just kind of thinking about that on the bus. Like, God, it'd be the greatest thing ever. I could make it three years. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, man, what a, what a great run of just unbelievable players. I mean, just unbelievable players that just, you know, everybody fell in love with. And, and, uh, and then just great staff. Uh, just an awesome run of staff. And, uh, that's what's made this thing so special. Mark, I was there for the first one. I know what that meant to you. When, when you is 700 going to mean something later down the road? You think, or does it does it mean something now? Uh, I don't. Know. I'm not like I said. I'm not a numbers guy. You know, I can just tell you as I told them afterwards. Man, this one feels as good as any of the other ones we did, just based on where we were at, what we were facing. Um, you know, the way we had to dig it out and compete. I don't think I. As uncomfortable as it was, I don't think I, you'd want it any other way, you know, to be fitting or something like that. And they fought, man. I mean, we were we were in trouble there at half a little bit, and, and uh, we fought. We played great defense, played great offense, so couldn't ask for anything more. You got to remember this one, this milestone win a little special because your son was out on the court at the end of it? Uh, not only that, it's AJ's birthday today, so as I told the group, and so I thought that was pretty cool to, you know, to get this done on AJ's birthday. And, and, uh, yeah, obviously having Joe out there uh, um, makes it special too. But again, I mean, these kids are all like sons to me. So uh, uh, I'm proud of everybody that was out there. Watson on the J. Yeah. And Porter, Moet held down. They held that team to 61 and 60 in two days. And I just think they're super, super talented and super, super gifted. You know, I mean, to me, you just watch them on film and you're like, wow, and even in person, you know, you saw what. That Porter could do. I think Ajayi's a fantastic player. So, I thought Graham was really, really good tonight. We went to him early, and he really, really delivered. They started doubling him. He made great plays out of the double. Got a lot of good shots out of that. And then uh, Nolan. Nolan really fought and guarded the let, chased him around all game, and got uh, good minutes out of Ben. And, uh, and then Ryan was really good. What, is, second, what does having been in that starting lineup allow you guys to do, and what kind of prompted you to kind of make that switch? Uh, we just, you know, I, I, I felt like Dusty was just putting too much pressure on himself. We just try something different. And, um, you know, it just makes us a little bigger. I thought we did we did a good job finally attacking the glass. One of them is they, uh, they are a really, really good athletic rebounding team. So we got a couple extra ones off, uh, you know, second chance points. And then... Uh, you know, allows us to mix up the rotation a little bit. And then Anton got in foul trouble, so we had to go right back to our normal game. Mark, did you challenge your guys at all after last Thursday about this week coming back out on the road? Yeah. No, I, I, I told them it was going to be really, really hard. I mean, we're not talented enough to just roll in and just beat guys on talent this year. You know, we got to beat them on toughness. we got to beat them on togetherness. we got to beat them on attention to detail. And then we also got to, you know, with that swag and that confidence that all our teams have had, we were kind of rattled a little bit, you know, this week in practice. So we responded. So we're proud of them for that. I think San Diego is going to probably have McKinney back on Saturday. Yeah. I know Turner didn't play, but they didn't play a game tonight. Um, yeah. What do you think they're going to be like on Saturday? I think they'll be really fired up to play us, like everybody is. I think that they're a high energy team. They play with great energy. They fly around. They play super hard. They, uh, you know, they're a confident team, and uh, they throw a lot at you. Short prep. I mean, we play four or five different defenses. We handled it well up at our place. But, uh, and I was really, like I say, surprised. But, I mean, they were they were very quick and very athletic. You know? 
time, so I think we'll face a lot of that. Mark, does it make it any easier that you played them two weeks ago? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, we got a feel for their guys now. The guys have experienced it. We're not just describing it to them on the scouting report, so for sure. Does Benny's size help particularly with them having three bigs tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You know, they don't even have to double as much as they did.